Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this video today, we're going to dive into the basics of using Saber plugin to create this neon text. So for you who don't know, Saber plugin is a free plugin by Video Copilot. It's a very powerful plugin that lets you create this neon-like effect and more. I have put the link in the description below to download this plugin. So today we're going to do this basic neon text that's kind of inspired by Stranger Things opening title. I have created this animated background here. Pretty simple background, kind of 80s retro inspired. You can absolutely download this project file via Gumroad. I have put a link in the description below. There's a bit of fee for this file which helps to support me and my channel. So feel free to download them, but no pressure at all. Now I'm going to create a text. I'll just type in Saber plugin. And I'm using this font called Belly Display. I'm gonna scale this up a little bit, maybe 150%. And then create a new solid, so right click solid, and name this Saber. We will apply an effect to this layer. I'm gonna change the layer color to purple. Now under effects and presets, look for Saber and apply that onto the solid layer. There's so many different types of presets you can choose, which I'll show you quickly later. The first thing that you want to do though, is to go under this customized core, then change this core type. Change it to text layer, and then change this text layer to Saber plugin, which is our text layer here. I'm just going to show you very quickly the different types of presets they have. They actually have some cool high quality ones like Fire, Petronas, etc. They look super cool that I cannot believe that this plugin is brave. But today I'm going to choose one called Narrow Bright. We want to just do a simple neon look. There's actually a couple of presets that do the simple neon look, but I like Narrow Bright the best because it kind of gives slightly different strength of glow throughout the outlines, if you can see here. Like for example, if you choose default here, it actually is a simple neon look as well, but I feel like it's a bit flat. So let's use Narrow Bright. It just looks more advanced to me. I'm going to change the color to red because I want it to have that Stranger Things vibe. Change the glow spread. Maybe change it to 0.15 and then the glow intensity to 40%. Then play around with this core size, which is basically the size of the outline or stroke. I'll just leave it as one. Then move on to this section. I want to change the start size. So start size is basically the size of the start of the stroke. So as you see at the moment, the stroke has uniform weight. But if I change the start size to zero, now the start of the stroke is much thinner than the end. You can also change the end size, but I want to leave the end thick like this. And I'm going to change the start size to 20%, so it's not much different. And then we're going to animate the stroke using end offset. Create keyframe in the beginning of the timeline and set it to 0%. Then move to around 30 seconds and set it as 100%. Now let's preview it. It's looking quite fancy now, but I don't want to stop there. I want to experiment with the look more. Let's change around the hello intensity. So hello in this case is kind of like the hello or the glow in the stroke itself. So if we zoom into the text here, if I put it as 100%, you see the stroke kind of become more glowy. And when I change it to 0%, the stroke of the halo is not glowing at all. So I'm going to leave it as 100%. And the core softness is the softness of the stroke, which is kind of like how much blurry you want it to be. I'm just going to leave it at 0. Let's move on to flicker. This one is pretty obvious. I'm going to try 100% intensity and see how that looks. Now I'm going to experiment with the flicker speed. I'll try 30 and see how that looks. That looks a bit too fast, so I'll leave it as 20. 
Now I'm just gonna close all these and then move on to distortion. Glow distortion is to distort the glow. I'm gonna put it as 100 so we can see what's going on. There's different types of glow like smoke, fluid, and energy. I think energy and fluid might be a bit too much for this. So I'm gonna use smoke. Wind speed, reduce it to 0 0.5 so it doesn't move too fast. Noise speed to 0 0.5 as well. I'll quickly preview it. That looks pretty good to me. Now, we don't really want to do core distortion in this case because basically it's just gonna distort the stroke like that and we don't want that for this case. Now the next thing is actually a trick that I found that I really like, mask evolution. So you see when you animate this, you see that the line is animating. So I want a continuous effect like that. What you're gonna do is to enter time expression. So hold on Alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon. Then type in time times 50. Let's quickly preview this. I'm quite happy with this. Next is to set this layer as screen and then turn off the text layer underneath it. And actually after looking at this, I feel like the stroke or the core is too thin. So I'm gonna change it to 1.5. And I'm gonna scale this up a little bit and then select both layers and then pre-comp it. And set this layer as screen. Now I'm going to quickly make a reflection for this text. Duplicate this layer and call it Reflection. Then parent it to the main text layer. Move it downwards. And in the effects and presets, look for fast box blur. And then I'll just change this to 8. Let's quickly preview this. Yep, looking pretty cool. The next thing is to turn these two to 3D layers. Now we just have to reposition things around. I'm just going to make the camera move slower here. And then I'm going to readjust the focus distance of the camera. Click on this and set your view to two views so that you can see the camera from two different angles. Then we want this line here, which is the focus distance, to be approximately aligned with this brown line, which is the layer. And basically just adjust the focus distance until it aligns with the brown layer line. The last thing. I just want to change the reflection opacity to 60%. And that's it! You have made the Stranger Things or Retro Inspired Minion text using Sabre. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to be notified when I upload videos. Feel free to share this video around too. I'll see you guys next time.